Hi everyone, I'm Sharon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be creating a slimline card featuring a number of mice critters having fun sitting and swinging on a bunch of floating birthday balloons in a rainfall of confetti and wishing the card's recipient a happy birthday. Let's get started with a quick overview of the Lawn Fawn products that I use to create this card. I use both the stitched balloon frames and the outside in stitched balloon stackables die sets, three of the mice critters from Bubbles of Joy, the hanging mouse from Really High Five, sentiments from Happy Happy Happy, the everyday sentiment banners, and finally, the big bubble stencil. I begin with a three and a half by eight and a half inch slim line panel cut from some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I place the various balloon dies on the panel. I want two of the balloons to go off the edge of the panel and the other two balloons to be fully within the panel. Then I run everything through my die cutting machine and remove all of the balloons from the panel before I begin to ink blend. I want to create an ombre effect in my Distress Oxide ink blending. So I begin by inking my lightest shade of blue, tumbled glass, onto the bottom area of the panel. Next, I move on to the middle shade of blue, Broken China, before ink blending my darkest shade of blue, which is Mermaid Lagoon. Ombre ink blending is essentially taking the tones of a specific color that shade into each other graduating from lightest to darkest. In this case, I use three tones of blue and blend the three blues back and forth until I achieve a smooth transition between the three shades. I also use the ombre ink blending technique on the balloons. For the largest, I use candied apple as my darkest shade, abandoned coral, for my mid shade, and I also use worn lipstick as my lightest shade of red. Once again, I blend the three colors back and forth to create gradual transitions from shade to shade. For the second largest balloon, I use spice marmalade orange as the darkest shade, mustard seed yellow as the mid tone, and squeezed lemonade as the lightest and brightest shade of yellow. For the third largest balloon, I decide to use graduating tones of green. My darkest shade is Lucky Clover. I use Mowed Lawn as the middle shade of green. And finally, my lightest shade is Twisted Citron. For the last and smallest balloon, I use gradations of purples. I begin with Wilted Violet as my darkest shade. I transition into Seedless Preserve as my midtone, And finally, my lightest shade is Victorian Velvet. For some added dimension on the balloons, I use some Yeti pigment ink and the big bubble stencil to add reflections where light would hit the balloons. Afterwards, I put the balloons aside to dry. I load my four mice critters into my Misty stamping tool ink them up using some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, and stamp them onto some Bristol cardstock. Next, I color in my images using my Ohuhu alcohol brush markers. I use a total of four gray markers to color in the mice. I use two shades of gray for two of the mice and another two shades of gray for the other two mice. I start with the lighter shade and I color in the entire body area to saturate the paper. This allows for smoother blending. Afterwards, I use darker shade of gray to add the shadows where I think they may fall, such as under or down the backs of the mice or under their arms and chins. I continue to learn the art of coloring and blending with alcohol markers by practicing off camera, watching other crafters coloring techniques and I'm in the process of developing my own coloring style.
After I finished coloring all of the images, I used some washi tape to hold down the coordinating dies and run everything through my die cutting machine. I dug up some glitter paper from my stash and used the confetti die from the outside in stitched balloon stackables to die cut a bunch of sparkly confetti. For the sentiment, I want to heat emboss a simple yet bold happy birthday. I prepare my black licorice cardstock with my anti-static powder tool, use some Versamark watermark ink to stamp down my sentiment, sprinkle on some Ranger white embossing powder, tap off the excess powder, use my heat tool to melt the powder and to reveal a bright white sentiment, and use the Everyday Sentiment Banner dies to die cut the sentiment strips. I use my paper snips to cut the banner ends on the larger sentiment strip. Now comes the fun of assembling the card. For the card base, I have a 7 by 8.5 inch piece of accent opaque 120 pound card stock that I score at the midway 3.5 inch mark on the 7 inch side. I adhere the card front to the card base and here we have it, my finished card. I have a number of mice critters having fun sitting and swinging on a bunch of floating birthday balloons in a rainfall of confetti and wishing the cards recipient a happy birthday. Thank you so much for joining me in this card making video today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I hope that you will join me again next time. Have a great day everyone and happy crafting. Bye bye.